Today we're going to make albondigas de res. All right, today we're going to make albondigas from beef. Uh, I have five pounds here, but we're going to use four of it. I'm going to make four pounds of this. I have my parents and my brother coming over, so I have to make quite a bit. But the ingredients we're going to use is four eggs, some flour, some onions, some cilantro, some mint, some yerba buena, potatoes, some uh, carrots, some zucchini, some California peppers, I say cilantro onions, I think I do. Tomato, a full onion to go into the pot. We're gonna use some salt, some garlic salt, some chicken bouillon, and I think that's pretty much it. It's not a lot of ingredients, but it comes out delicious. The limes, so when you add it to, uh, to the soup after everything is done. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and prepare our meat with the rice and the onions and the mint and then we'll have the water boiling so we cook the other vegetables and make our meatballs and put all our balls in all right so there it is i cut that off so we're going to go ahead and put this inside this pot just take everything out we might need both hands to do this All right, now that we have that in there, we're gonna go ahead and pour our rice. And we're gonna add our flour. Crack the eggs. And we're gonna add the onion and the mint. You might need both hands for this. All right, there's the mint and there's the onions. Now we're gonna add some salt. A good amount. We're gonna add some Larry's garlic salt. It's brand new, so let me open it up. All right, there it is. And don't be shy with the seasonings. So I'm gonna make it better. And we're gonna add some chicken bouillon. <laughs> oh, hang on. All right, and there it is. And we're gonna add about just a top full. There it is, beautiful. All right, and while that's going, we have the tortillas on the side as well, ready? We're gonna go ahead and turn on our stove. And we're gonna set that to medium high, I guess. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our onion. And we're going to add nothing else for now. We're gonna let that boil. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and add some salt. Some more garlic salt. Like I said, don't be shy. Look at that beautiful purple onion. I choose purple because I think it's a little bit sweeter. Tastes a little bit better. Flavor. All right, and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna boil this. Actually, we're just gonna blend this with these tomatoes. That will give it a little bit of color. 
We have a lot of things going on. We still got to mix this. But we'll set that to the side. Let's go ahead and blend this. All right, there it is. I just added a little bit of water. Now we're going to go ahead and blend it. and blend it. Let's go ahead and add it to the pot. Alright, so let's go ahead and just dump it all in here. Can't reach it to squish it. That's okay. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So let's go ahead and mix all this up. Alright, we'll just go ahead and mix this all together. I'm gonna need both hands to do this, so we'll come right back. This is the reason why I wore clips. So now we can just take it off. My hands are clean. So now what we're gonna do is make the meatballs. We're gonna make the bolas. And then this is almost coming to a boil. Let's go ahead and give that a nice stir. Hey, what are you doing? This kid wants to help. Nope. Yeah? See? <laughs> Let's go ahead and stir this up real quick. It's nice and hot already. Let's actually go ahead and add the cilantro. Okay, daddy. Let's see if it gets into everything already. Nope. <laughs> Close it. big too like this there it is oh nice and big and I'll go ahead and continue making the rest of the batch all right, and there it is. And in total, there's a total of 41 meatballs. That's a lot. And here's the sides, the patio, the lime, some more salt to taste, some tortillas. And it's so much that I actually had to split the pot into two because it was already getting overboard. And I have them both set to medium, high. There it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and start dropping each ball in. Uh, I was going to make them big, but you know, I figured let's go ahead and just make them small. So there's a lot. So let's go ahead and drop them in.
os danos. Just gonna let that sit for like 25 minutes or so, maybe less 15, 20 minutes, give or take. Let's go ahead and just wait. What did you say? All right, so there it is. It's all coming to a boil, and the rice is fully cooked already. That's how you're able to tell that it's completed, that it's fully cooked. The rice is cooked. So now, we'll be ready to serve. Alright, just make sure you grab some vegetables. And just put that in there. Watching, please like and subscribe. Yo pena es malo. Andas grabando. Ese no lo vayas a subir en YouTube. What do you think? Is it good? Se ve muy bonito, eh. I'm talking about the food. Ay, yo estoy viendo tu teléfono. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Did you step on it? No. <laughs> 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 
Is it good, Alex? Yeah. Yeah. Cynthia? Huh? Good? I can't taste it yet. It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You're okay. You're okay. Thank you for watching. Okay, yeah. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.